very beautiful king of flowering trees ornamental decorative tree from africa is pathodia campanulata only species one species pathodia campanulata monotypic genus with one species worldwide it belongs to the family bignoniaceae characterized by opposite compound pinnate leaves as we find in patella stereospermum suaviolens or oroxylum indicum the pathodia campanulata why it is named as pathodia campanulata path means speed bract like calyx it is fused and it forms a spade in the flower so spathodia spade like calyx and campanulata why campanulata because it has bell shaped flowers corolla is fused and it is a broad bell so campanulata campanulate corolla it was discovered in the year 1787 from gold coast western africa present ghana near ivory coast and the tree was named spathodia campanulata its flowers have rich nectar so the buds are filled with watery nectar so it is if pressed and usually kids press it and then there is a skirting action fountain action so it is also known as the fountain tree and because it uses that watery current when pressed so it is also known as syringe tree its nectar attracts many birds especially gilded hummingbird even the bird which we see in the new tropical region because this is native to africa but also now planted and naturalized and escaped cultivation in south america so there we find many birds for example black necked mango anthracocorax nigricollis also sips its nectar the way gilded sapphire or gilded hummingbird also then we also have the many squirrels they are also coming and nibbling the flower the tree is prone to the termite attack that is one drawback its wood is soft and its soft wood is mostly sought after by barbers to use the tree trunk as nest they burrow and that is used a cavity is used as nest this is also attracting the ants because of the sugary watery nectar present in flowers uh, from a distance it looks like flame of the forest beautia monosperma palash but here leaves are always present along with flowers in case of beautia monosperma palash when there are flowers leaves are not there and once leaves are formed then flowers vanish but in this spathodia campanulata also known as african tulip tree leaves and flowers coexist and flowering season is also extends over 6 7 months throughout spring and summer you can see the flowers but it depends on the climate uh, in tirumala hills at tirumala devasthanam we see its grandier 
flowering throughout the summer and whole tree is filled with decorative orange red blossoms whereas the oldest tree old introduction in jammu city we could see in raj bhavan and here it's that mass flowering is not noticed only few branches at the top of the tree they have the flowers so mostly it flowers at the top uh, it's uh, corolla uh, bell is basically yellow streaked red streaked inside and it has four stamens with brown anthers and its corpel pistil is also born from the corolla tube it gets coalesced fused with the corolla tube at the base and the flowers are born in flat cymose clusters of the size of a football in that the horn shaped greenish olive green floral buds expression of flowers starts from below that the lowest row of the flower buds they bloom first they extend outwards and then bell shaped flowers appear from the periphery not from the center and in succession they go on more and more flower from the rows and new buds are added so it has a perpetual kind of flowering and these flowers are visited by many birds especially humming birds in africa and even in south america uh leaves are opposite and they are pinnate and in one leaf 7 to 17 leaflets are present and each leaflet is egg shaped dark green above and pale green under surface uh wood is soft and also prone to the attack of termites as we find in the trees growing in the university of jammu campus and that along with its the weak trunk the wood is not, commercially not very useful timber but at the same time in africa it is used for some toy making and its pods they look like buddhi and boat shape so they are also sometimes displayed as for dec- decoration this pathodia campanulata is also used by the gardeners and plant lovers for making the bonsai uh, it tree can be propagated through seed and seeds are uh, each pod has about 500 seeds and they are tissue paper thin papery membranous winged seeds and each pod has about 500 seeds and they germinate easily so it can be propagated through seeds another it can also be propagated through cuttings and third option is it can be propagated through suckers old tree trunk has the suckers at the base which can be used for propagation uh, the tree has also been introduced in california in southern california warmer portion of the california it flowers well and it is evergreen in nature in the tropical belt it is evergreen whereas in colder climates first it does not tolerate frost it has less flowering and another it also loses its leaves during winter so it becomes deciduous if the temperature is climate is cooler the unique flower is also treated as invasive especially as we see in queensland australia it has gone invasive so globally it is also treated as one of the worst invader of our natural environments where it can decimate our native biodiversity but 
from the urban point of view from the decorative point of view the plant is very useful introduction in the parks gardens along road sides and city parks where it can add color to the surroundings not for 15 days or one month but for 6 to 7 months another is it also provides nectar feast to many nectarivorous birds like sunbirds hummingbirds even the purple sunbird or scarlet sunbird they come and sip nectar of the fl flower buds in jammu university these trees since they have the squirting action of its watery flower buds it is also named as pichkari in hindi another hindi name is raktura in bangla language it is called as a rudra plash something like plash but it has more intense blossoms and they remain on the tree for longer periods so rudra roop rud rudra plash this particular tree decorative tree ornamental tree most beautiful tree is also useful as medicine bark decoction is useful in skin ailments bark and leaf decoction is useful in the treatment of malaria even reported to be anti hiv virus as its buds also have structure like kidneys so in ayurveda it is also used for the kidney ailments uh in jamaica its floral bud nectar is used in the treatment of glaucoma in gabon it is used as anti diabetic so we find its use even for the treatment of diarrhea dysentery gastrointestinal troubles A recent research is also telling its bark and leaf extract is useful even in cancer therapy and also as hepatoprotective tree is not native to india it is basically from african continent the gold coast area its first discovery in 1787 but now it is almost seen in almost throughout india especially we find it profusely planted in bangalore hyderabad tirupati tirumala hills and even it is seen in gujarat it is also known as nandi flame another name is uganda flame because it is also seen in uganda another name popular name is nile flame because it is flame like its flowers look like flame but it is also reported along the river nile so nile flame uganda flame nandi flame fountain tree in syringe african tulip tree syringe tree so its many names reflect its popularity and its use for decorative purposes in the parks and gardens by the europeans who discovered it in 1787 and tree has also many medicinal properties so we can plant it only care is to be taken that it should not go invasive so its suckers should be removed timely and its proper existence or proper place need to be ensured with a close watch but at the same time flower is very useful and decorative and it can be included in our monsoon planting which is presently going on in jammu city